Hello everyone, Ryan Hageman, Technical Specialist with West Central. We're out here today doing an in the field video, taking a look at Liberty by itself and with our adjuvant Last Chance. So in this plot, we sprayed the plot on Monday, June 10th. Temperatures were fairly cool, right around that 70 degrees. We actually dipped down as high temperatures in the high 60s for a couple of days. And then now we're back up at 80 degrees and it is Friday, June 14th. As you can see right next to me is the Liberty treatment with three pounds of ammonium sulfate. To the side of that, we've actually got one of the Roundup treatments. So Roundup being systemic is gonna take a little bit longer to work, but we can see that we're getting some really good activity out of the Liberty already. As you can see, the kochia in this field is a little bit over what we would consider optimum for spraying uh, as labeled rates. But take a look, we're looking at six to eight inch, maybe some 12 inch kochia, along with, we've got some 12 inch grass all, out there already. And the Liberty be, seems to be doing a pretty good job in that, even in these cool temperatures. You may not see it in the video today, but what we're seeing is more necrotic look to the kochia. It looks more like a faster, more even kill in the area that has the last chance adjuvant Placed with the Liberty treatment. We're going to be back here in the next coming weeks and take some more pictures and see the, the differences in the two treatments. But in the meantime, we've set up a time-lapse camera right down the middle of the two treatments. As you can see, we left a little skip right down the middle so you can actually have a check right between the two treatments. But what we want to show you is the advantage of adding the last chance adjuvant in with your Liberty treatments. So keep checking back and we'll show you the differences. 